Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm super happy you're here today. I have a fun little project for us to do. I know I said I wasn't going to give you three videos this week, but I decided this one was fun. I was working on it, so I stopped, cleaned up, so I could do the video with you. Um, so this is a little craft with me. I think you'll love it. Um, fun to make. You can use all kinds of things. It's a little cluster, but this I saw Tina Shabby Dabby do it. Dabby Duda doing something similar, but not this exact same thing. Hers was very different, but so I made my version. She used torn up envelopes. I have decided to use these cute little coin envelopes, right? Aren't these adorable? I love these. I, when I saw them, I thought, oh, I have to get them. Now, if you're wanting them, you know where you can get them, right? Go to the shop. <laughs> so... That's not why I'm using them. I just thought they were perfect because they're printed, they're darling, super cute. Started working on another one. Thought, well, I think I should show you guys what I'm making. Now, I kind of want to mass make these a bit. So what this is, is I used a little envelope on the front side because it's printed. I did a little um, stamping, added a little lace, added a little um, like cigarette card or... Um, tea card, add a little label, did some more lace, did a little printed, you know, stamp label, and then I put a little flower. Oh, and a little paper clip. So super fun, super easy, great to put on a journal, in a journal, in a pocket, you know, um, however you want to use them. Now, if you're new, you're like, what do you mean put on a journal? Like what? So I'll show you. So it goes, just goes on the page like that. At the top, you can paper clip it on. Now the cool part is you can write on the back, but you can slip a piece of paper in here or a little card, something. I don't think I have it. Do I have any little, let me see if I have any little something that would fit in there. I don't know that I do. I mean, I have pieces. I just don't know that I have any that I can get to right now. But you would just take and slide that little card inside there, right? So I just need to cut some stuff. Or I have them, but I, I can't find them. I have a bunch of little little tiny like cards, and I, I don't know where they are. Whoops, I'm throwing things everywhere. So um, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. You could paper clip it on there. You could glue it on there. You could glue it on three sides and use it as a tuck spot. You don't have to use it as a pocket. You can throw it into a pocket. Let's say you have a page with a pocket and you just wanna pop it in your little pocket as a filler because you wanna fill it up with some pretties. It's just a lot of, they're just fun. They're just fun. I just was having such a good time making them. I thought I would share with you guys. So here we go. How is everybody? Everybody well, are you good? I hope so. So I'm thinking, now you can leave them plain, you can stamp them, you can, you know, do whatever you want. Um, I thought this time I might put some like little, maybe like little stamps on them. I'm going to need a piece of paper, which I know I have paper. Okay, here's a little blank piece of paper to put underneath it, just in case I get carried away, right? And I'm going to use my VersaFine Claire for, it's a pigment stamp. And I'm actually gonna do what I told you to do, which was bring it to it. This is a used one that I got when we were out thrift shopping. Jolene and I were thrift shopping for the store. Uh, I need to turn over this way. Let's see if I can do two together. Two at once, can we, can we, can we? Could we do three? No, just two. Here, hold on. So what's new? Anything exciting? I heard some of your weather is pretty quiet right now. We're all kind of getting ready for spring, from what I hear. Oh, I turned it over, but that's okay. I wanted to put a little something on the bottom. I thought that that would be cute. Isn't that cute? I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, that piece of paper, I could just stamp that on because it's so cute. That is cute. I'll clean that after. I just want to make sure that I get, you know, the majority off. And I'll leave it turned up so I remember it's dirty. It needs to be cleaned. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to wash that ink. Boy, that gets crazy. I'm going to put that behind me so I remember it needs a good washing. But I'll probably bring it back. I doubt I'm done with it. <laughs> I don't know why I put that away because I bet you I'll use it again. I'll bet you I do. 
Let me put this on the top. I love this. This is pine cone. Fabulous. We don't carry that in our shop, but Scrapbooking with Me does. So if you need some, you can get some over there. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to do. Then I want to pick out what images I want on here. Now, this one I've already started. I wrote, I did some writing, but I didn't get it dark enough. It might, I will tell you, my vintage photo, no matter how much I ink it, it was not doing me any favors. It just was not uh, stamping well on anything. So I think what I'm going to do, as soon as I find it, it's in my pile over here. Ah, it's over here. Sorry. I'm going to use this little bit stronger ink. And I'm going to put that right on the bottom. There we go. I like that. Because you don't see the top, but you could put it on the top too. So I'll just stamp off like right there. There we go. Good enough, right? So clean that later too. Oop. Okay. Now, let's see. What else have we got to play with here? Um, oh, I had started this one. Let's work on this one. And I actually... want to do a little stamping. Yeah, our weather is weird today. It's overcast. Like it's going to rain, but it hasn't rained. So I don't know. I might have overdone it on that one, but what the heck. That's all right. So this one, I want to take a little piece of lace to find the side I want to use. I'm going to put that on there, up there, and I want to add a little photo. Now these are from Sam Poole, and she has all kinds of these little um, shabby cabinet cards, and then she did a, um, collab a collaboration with another gal. So I've got a lot of her cards, so I thought they would be fun to use on here. I did have to cut it down to fit the little the little envelope. Then I'm going to take a cigarette card. I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm going to add a little Paris on here. And anything else I want to add? No, I think that makes a good... I'm going to use my little Tim Holtz number here. But I am going to add some... Where to go? A little flower, which these are vintage. So I could add one of these on there. <laughs> and put that on there, or I could put like this pretty, but it would cover up my little Paris. So that would look pretty on there too, using a wax seal. You could use one of those. You can use a bow. You can use, oh, I could use a bow up there, couldn't I? Well, I've already got this out, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one first right now. Now I could add a pearl to that, but I don't think I will. I'm not gonna make it super duper fancy. It is a kind of a clustery thing. And this way it'll hide my, my staple. You don't have to hide your staple if you like your staple. A lot of people like staples in their work. But I do want, let me find, hopefully I don't knock everything over trying to get to it. I'll get some of my little Tim Holtz paper clips. Oh, I have some of these. These are cool. I wonder what this would be like. I haven't ever used these. They came in a pack of something that I bought. And I was like, eh, not excited, but because they're hard to use. There we go. Well, isn't that precious? Don't you love it? So, I don't know what to chat about, guys. Should be a craft and chat. I want You don't have to put lace down. You can just rip up a piece of paper. Let's see what else could we do. Let's do something different. Let's, let's use some of this paper here figure out how wide that is let me get a so you just use scraps of whatever you have on your desk or goes with whatever you want to make you know I mean I'm gonna believe it or not I just used a whole bunch of my scraps oh, are you proud of me stamped a bunch of stuff let me I'm gonna move this out a little bit 
yeah, I just use my little pieces like that. I've got some really narrow ones now. So what I want to do is I want to make it about the width, a little bit less. I'm going to put that up there. I kind of like the, I'm going to go like that. I don't want it to be too fancy, right? And then what else do we want? We want maybe a scrap of lace. Wait, I had my scrap box out of here. What did I do with it? Where's my scrap box? Am I looking at it? Is it staring at me? Oh, I guess I put it back. Okay, here it is. Got to make room for everything, right? Got to kind of get a little bit organized here. And I have a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I'm having a little bit of asthma and allergy from all the rain and everything. Oh, I got a brand new, I, I got fed up with my, my vintage photo and got myself a brand new one. I had it in my, I had it in my st um, stash. I bought one when I could find it for a while there. You couldn't find them after COVID. You couldn't find these. And so as soon as I found one, I bought it and put it in my stash. You know, I bought four spun sugars. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Spun sugars. I have four of these waiting to be open. I guess I kept thinking I didn't have one. So I kept buying them. <laughs> you know, you do that with your, with your kitchen. <laughs> in your kitchen, you think you don't have cereal, so you keep buying it or peanut butter. And then you have, you go in the cupboard and you go, oh man, I have like 12 of these. So then you use them all up. And then you have none. And you're like, oh, I thought I filled those up. <laughs> kind of same thing here. Anyway, so I got myself a new vintage photo. I was fed up with the other one. No matter how much I inked it, I sprayed it with water. I inked it. I just couldn't. I was like, I'm done. Tired of fighting with this stupid thing. So I'm going to put this on there. And I want, I love the image of, let's see. I love my, um. This is where I keep my cigarette cards. And I have a whole bunch that I printed and I don't know where they are. Ooh, that'd be kind of neutral if we want to keep it very neutral. We could do that, couldn't we? We could do colors. We can do, we should probably do maybe like a yellow one because it's kind of spring. Well, not that yellow. Well, maybe that yellow. I'm almost out of these. And you know, I got these from Shabby Dabby Doodah and I did not see this one in her shop anymore. I'm going to have to send her a message and say, hey, are you still, do you still have this file or did you pull it down? I can't find it anywhere. So let's do a couple of those and we could put another one of these down or we could put a bow. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, I got some of these little goodies in. Well, I'll do that with the red one. I think I'll wait. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, blue bow. No, I don't want a blue bow. I, this, I want this one to be neutral. So I'm going to do one of these little puppies. How about that? Um, and I'm thinking I can just, well, I do want to ink this. Where to go? Where's my ink? I did buy, like I said, a bunch of new digitals for cigarette cards, and I couldn't find my digital, so now i got to go through and see if I what I did with it. Oh, and then you want to do a stamped piece. Now, I have some little stamp pieces that I stamped, my favorite new stamp, called Vintage Girl. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. I don't think it needs to be that wide, so I'm going to cut it down. It's on vintage paper. Oh gosh, could I cut that any more crooked? Let's go like this. Okay. And let me do a little inking. This is vintage book page it's stamped on. And isn't this cute? Oh, it's a stamp, rubber stamp I have. I'm trying to think of the name of the stamps. Red something. I can't remember the name of the company that makes that cute little girl. I'm going to kind of spread these out a little bit because you want them to be, they're a cluster, right? You don't want them to be like super duper neat, but you know, not super messy either. I don't know if I want to ink this because I got a lot of ink on here, but we don't want it to look new, new, right? 
except that was the wrong side. <laughs> that was the back side. I'm going to dirty it up a little bit. And we could just put a little glue on there and we're good to go. I want to see that vintage paper girl. So I'm going to move that off to the side. It doesn't need to be centered. That's too perfect, right? For a for a little scrappy do thing. And we'll put a little paper clip on there just to give it some looking old there isn't that cute I'm in love with these you guys they are so darn cute let me see what time I started I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to make more oh we're only 15 minutes in my goodness okay so I don't know that this will be a long video unless I just go crazy and start making more and more okay we have this one and let's try a different paper let's try one of my little papers here. I want to get so I was saying that my allergies were terrible with all this rain and sun and rain and sun and rain and sun. It's been crazy. <laughs> And, you know, I'm using my inhaler. What little allergy med medicine I'm allowed to take. I'm not allowed to take much because I have a heart condition. So if you hear me sniffling, I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't help it. There's nothing I can do about it. Someone did mention it. And it's like, well, I I can't do anything about it. I mean, I'm, I've got terrible allergies. And the only thing I could do is just not make videos, right? So, you know, I'm self-conscious about my my sniffles. I did use all my meds, but I was afraid to take too much allergy medicine because um, it'll knock me on my butt. Literally, I, won't, I will fall asleep on the desk. <laughs> we don't want that, right? Little too perfect on the bottom. Okay, so we've got that and that. What else should we put in there? How about a, um, how about, how about, how about, let's do another photo from Sam. Cool. Now, she did a collaboration, which was all of these darling little pieces. Oh, maybe we could do a pink one. Oh, no, let's do the red I talked about. Then we'll go back and we'll do some of these. Again, that was Sam Pool, and she has about four sets, I believe, of the Polaroid photos. Oh my gosh, I love every single one of them. I own them all, use them all, all the time. Hi, Sam. I hope you're well. Your weather's gotten better. I know that in England, it's been pretty cold and ugly. Um, pretty nasty weather there for a while. According to some of my friends over there. Yes, I like that. Okay, and we're gonna want, I want some kind of a word. So I have these, or I have, how about, let me see what I have over here. I have my little tins, I love my tins. Oh yes, correspondence order. Let's try this one, that's a fun looking one. And then this one's got a lot of numbers. That was all numbers, and then I think this one's numbers and words. and. A variety of things and then this little tin now has my little vintage girls in them isn't that cute red is it red fern red something darn it it'll come to me the name of that stamp company if you need to know it ask me in the um comments and i'll i'll look it up for you i don't think i can get to the box can i get to the box probably not without knocking everything over let me look for those of you who might really want it. I want you to have what you need. You know, I don't want you to be like going, I, I need that. Where can I get it? Ah. Eh. Oh boy. I don't know if the card's in that. So we'll see. Gosh, guys, I just made a humongous mess. Okay, I'll clean this up after. It's not that bad. At least that's what I'm telling myself. 
I'm right here. I didn't go anywhere. I'm actually standing right next to the camera. I just had to get out. <sighs> Sorry about all the noise. What's the name of this company? Um, oh, gosh. It doesn't even say. Huh. Well, sorry about that. I can't think of the name of it. I don't know. I bought those years ago. Oh, my cats are not getting along. Misty's really sick and Tommy won't leave her alone. I think he's concerned about her, but he's irritating her to the point where she's angry. So she's not happy. I just heard a really bad little altercation. I may have to stick my head out there and Make sure everybody's okay. We are not getting along because she doesn't feel good. She wants to be left alone. And he's all up in her business and she doesn't like that. I'm looking for a little strip of lace that I could use. She really doesn't feel well. She's very sick. She doesn't want to eat. She's got a bad head cold. She has respiratory issues anyway. And this time of year with all the rain and everything we've been going through, she has gotten sick, so I'm real concerned about it. I tried to get through to the vet, but it's a Monday, and I could not. I made this on Monday. You're seeing it on Friday. Could not get through. It put me on hold and leave me there for over 30 minutes. I'm like, that's it. I don't have time for this. I have things to do. I'll keep trying until I get through. Either that or I'll send him a, I'll go online and send him an email. Say, hey, she needs her meds. I have some. I am giving her some, but... I think she might need some steroids and some other stuff. Now, the reason I chose that, I just got these in, and I, I bought the last bit of it anywhere that I could find on the internet. Aren't they pretty? Oh, I love them. Hold on. Wrong scissors. These are those fabric roses on mesh. Oh, I love them. I'm going to have to put them in my little box so I don't lose them. I should put some in my little tray here so I can just reach over and get it and not have to. And I'm just going to put that on there. Isn't that pretty? I kind of do an elegant scrappy do. I can't just do messy scraps. Well, I can and I have. Don't get me wrong. I have. But I just felt like, yeah, we want to. There we go. Aren't those cute? And they're just on those little bags. Aren't they darling? Now I have three different colors of bags. I think I have white, this, and manila. So those are adorable. I need to make more. I must make more. Let's do three more. We're going to need some stamping. I said I would, and I do, right? So where did I put my stamp? I said I had not to put it too far because I was going to need it. I put it on my desk. Oh, if it got any closer, it would have jumped up and bit me really hard. Let me get this out again. I love the roses. Let's see, what else have I got? I got butterflies. I got all kinds of things, but I think I'm going to stick with the roses. Where's that piece of paper? Yep, there it is. There she is. Okay. Um, anybody doing spring break? I mean, I know it's coming up. We're on time change. We had that happen. That's got me all messed up. I can't figure out whether I'm coming, going, or already been there. Sorry, I was looking for my ink. Um, so yeah, that's crazy with the time change. Cats are confused. I'm confused. And keep forgetting to eat because it's such weird. Oh, I know you guys. Can you guys hear the sirens? Probably you can. I live at the hospital and the fire department, so you're always... Oh, and the ambulance bay is one street, one parallel major parallel road over, but boy, you always hear them when they go out. Okay. I love this versifying. This stuff is neat. Neat, neat, neat. Right? Very cool. I'm going to stamp on this. Gosh, you guys, sorry. Hear all those sirens? Oof. Something big's going down. 
hope everybody's okay. There's Lissia's at school. What time is it? Oh, shoot. School just got out. I hope everything's okay. I was worried about all the kids. We've had a lot of kids hit for jaywalking. <sighs> and they shouldn't be. Okay, what else can we put on there? Let's see. We have used the paper. We've used that. We've used that. What else do I have? Book page. We could do book page. We haven't done book page yet. Let me see what I have in our fabulous book pages. I would love to use that one that I used the other day. This one? Is this it? No, that's not it. I'll find it. Oh, here it is. This is that beautiful. I got to find this book and pull some more pages. in my eye okay I just don't have a lot to talk about guys um let's see my daughter's birthday's coming up Jolene or Jolene she's at the end of the month she's the 31st so her birthday's coming real quick we got a good surprise for her, but I can't say because she watches my videos, <laughs> so I cannot say. She's my business partner. <laughs> uh, but. She and I will probably go out for the day after her birthday because she'll hang out with the, her girls on her birthday, but we'll probably go out after and do a fun thrift store vintage shop for our shop have lunch out we'll probably go into the other city i don't think we'll stay here this time i think we'll go out of town maybe depends on how we're both feeling and what's happening and if we can get grandpa to be not babysit but pick the girls up from school they don't need babysitters <laughs> they're teenagers but somebody does have to pick them up from school because neither one of them drive yet so uh, I decided to add lace to mine. Tina did not. She didn't add any of the stuff that you see me adding. She, hers were totally different than this. So I am doing my version, right? Now, what do we want to put? Oh, I was going to put one of those pictures, right? I could hear you. Someone was telling me, picture, picture, picture. I could do a teddy bear. I could do something pretty in pink. Mm, I like that. That one really floats my boat. I love this. But it's too wide, right? So we want to cut it down. I got ink on everything. I'm going to have that on my sleeves. Or do I already? Well, that does not come out, I will tell you. Okay, let's take some of this off. And we'll take the top off and we'll take a little bit of the bottom off. Still kind of keep it looking like a Polaroid. I had a Polaroid camera. Did you guys have one? We had one when I was a kid. No one really liked it, so I kind of took it over. I was always taking pictures with that. I loved my Polaroid camera. In fact, I believe I still have the original somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have the original Polaroid somewhere. Or does one of my sisters? Oh, I can't remember. Maybe I don't have it. I know Greg and I got our own when we got married. In fact, we took it with us on our honeymoon. I don't want to tell you what we took pictures of. <laughs> oh, we were very young. <clears throat> 18 and 20. <laughs> so we were being creative with our Polaroid camera on our honeymoon. Which wasn't very long because he had to get back to work on Monday. We only had a couple days off together. We didn't have any money, so we couldn't really afford to take a real honeymoon. So we went to Carmel, California for that. But it served the purpose. Gosh, I remember that drive to Carmel from um, downtown San Jose. We, we went to Carmel and that was a heck of a drive for us at that age. I was dead tired, hadn't eaten anything, didn't get to eat any food at my reception. And because we were dancing and my uncles were pulling me one way or another for a dance or sticking, you know, handing me money and... Luckily, they couldn't stick it down my shirt. They were just <laughs> little Portuguese guys. Uh, but um, so they were, I never really got to eat that day. And so I was starving. We got to the Carmel Inn, which Carmel Highlands Inn, which is down in Carmel. 
that's not going to work on there because that fabric is way over there. Okay, let's do this. And so, oh my gosh, that was, I was half asleep. I had, someone had my, one of my lovely cousins, boy cousins, dumped a bunch of rice down my back, which my shirt at the time was polyester, so was my suit. I had a yellow polyester suit with a yellow and brown pretty patterned blouse. It was tucked into my, my pantyhose. So he dumps it down my shirt. So I sat on rice for like two hours. Oh, I had lines all over me, stuck to my rear. I was not a happy camper. I was ready to kill that cousin. And uh, he just thought he was so cute. I think it was my cousin Donnie or, or Jim, probably Jimmy. Jimmy or Donnie. I was not happy with either one of those guys. Um, so, uh, get to the hotel and I, first thing I did was take off my shirt, pulled off all my clothes, couldn't wait. It wasn't for the reason Greg thought. I just got, couldn't stand the rice on my back. I was like, well, right when we check in, we said, well, we'd like to get some food. They said, well, it's nine o'clock. The kitchen's closed. Oh my gosh. And I had a problem with blood sugar. So this was not good. I didn't have any food. I don't know if we had any snacks or anything. We couldn't get anything to eat. And they weren't very accommodating. They weren't nice to a nice young newlywed couple, I'll tell you. Oh, you know. And we were young and dumb. We didn't know what we needed. <laughs> we were. We were young and dumb. And so, I don't like that pink one on there. I thought I would, but I really don't. Let's see what else I've got. So... I pulled that off and there was rice everywhere. I felt bad for housekeeping, but in a way I didn't because I was so mad we couldn't get anything to eat. Because everyone kept saying, oh, there'll be food there. There'll be food there. No, their restaurant was closed. They had a restaurant. Oh, gosh, gosh. I didn't realize this is broken. I broke my... <gasps> oh, I hope I can find one to replace it. Oh, dear. I wonder how that happened. I want to see if I have something I like better. No, not that. Okay, not that. Here's a smaller. Is that any smaller? A little bit. Not by much. Not by much. Um, so yeah, I left a mess on the floor. Wasn't didn't care. I was so tired. Midnight. I turned 18 because I was technically 17 when I got married. And my mom called at midnight on my honeymoon. Right when we were, you know, enjoying each other. Mom. <laughs> my mother. Want, wouldn't let me off the phone. My husband's having a fit. It was cold in our room. There was no, for some reason, there was no heater. So he was trying to build a fire in the fireplace. Luckily, there was a fireplace in the room and they left kindling for us. But it was sort of like that honeymoon from hell. It just didn't quite. It had one adventure after another, none of which I want to remember to this day, right? <laughs> I don't know. You know, you just have those, I guess, where you're thinking, do I want to remember that? Is that really something I want to remember? Uh, I do remember it, though. And everywhere we went, things were closed or there was, I don't know, it was sort of, we got through it. We were happy to have the time together because, you know, we'd never had that. We were young and we weren't really allowed to spend a lot of time together, so we were happy to do that, but Oh my goodness. How did I get on that topic, you guys? I don't know. I'm just trying to find something up here and I'm not finding anything I like. I'm just not. So, and time's a-wasting. So I'm just going to use this one. You don't have to put anything up there. You could just leave it like that. Just put a paper clip and don't do anything else. It's fine. How did I get on that subject? Cheese. Cheese and crackers. When I say craft and chat, I mean, I'm going to be chatting away. I don't know what I'm going to be chatting about, but <laughs> expect a crazy conversation. Actually, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because Misty was uh, having trouble with her breathing and she was laying next to me and oh my goodness, she was keeping me awake with her snoring. Let me show you what I got here. Aren't those cute? And then you just put something inside. As soon as I can find my little cards, I'll put some in there. 
So I've used Paris, I've used Vintage Girl, I've used a number, I've used Correspondence, another Paris. So that one, that's probably one of my favorites. Let's make one more and then I think we'll call it a day. Uh, what else should we do? I wanna do something else. What else can we do? Um, hmm. Let me get this. Let's try. Where's my stuff? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna. This is a French stamp that I love and I use it all the time. I got a feeling that might go over. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Do a lot of talking, boy. <clears throat> Get air in your tummy. I feel like a baby. I got air in my tummy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna get a drink of water while that dries for a second. I think it dries pretty quick. Hmm. What if we use this teddy bear? Oh, he is so cute. Ooh, I like this one. We got all kinds of teddy bears and dolls. I'm not real fond of the dolls. They're okay. I mean, Sam did a beautiful job with the photos, but you know, oh, I don't need that one. I was trying to decide between bear and that one. I think I'll do bear and sewing machine. Okay. Yeah, I know these are kind of already pre-cut, so I kind of hate to cut too much off of them, but I think I'm going to take that right up to that bear's arm. And we don't need quite that much at the bottom. These are fun, you guys. You've got to get some of these little envelopes and play. Yum. They are just delicious to play with. I'm rounding the corners so that they look, again, so they go back to looking like a Polaroid photo. And these, are, I guess, are images in Sam's of Sam's things, own things in her home. So, yeah, that works. Now I need a piece of paper. What paper do I want to use? Do, 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 do. Um, I like the writing, but it's so dark. Do I don't have a light one. Do I have any light writing? It's all dark, huh? I don't think I have anything light colored. Oh, that's lighter. That's a different color. Maybe I could use that. Yeah, that's, that's the lightest right there. Okay. This is from... The uh, antique French journal that I have that I got that just fell apart on me when I got it. I was like so disappointed. I wasn't necessarily going to use it, but because the pages literally just started, as soon as I opened up the box, the pages literally started falling out. I was like, oh my gosh, the cover was falling off. So I decided, well, I'll go ahead and use it. Now, I don't want to use the whole thing, so let's use like this much. We need to have writing down there. Yeah. Let me get rid of that. And because I created white edges the way I ripped it, I'm going to go ahead and ink it a little bit. And then I'll put that back in the bag to be used on a nut. Well, no, I kind of like that one. I think we'll use that one. It's okay. Going next to me with all my all my goodies here that I have that I use to work with. Okay, get those out of my way for a moment. Let me get rid of the scraps. We'll go to the top up here, go down here. We'll go there. Yes, and maybe a piece of lace and a word and we're done, right? I think Vintage Girl would be cute there. I didn't do any with this, with these. These are pretty big. 
I don't, I mean, I could see doing one on something like a more regal. Like if I, if I use one of my ladies, I could see this with the ladies, that kind of thing. So I don't think I'm going to use those, but I like the vintage girl. So let me get that. What color do we want? Maybe I have a dark one. Here's one. I could cut it down. Those were worth, those were worth cutting today or stamping. Since I'm vintage paper girl, when I saw this stamp in the shop, I was like, I gotta have that stamp. Gotta have it. It is so me. Vintage girl. Eh. Mm. And that's on vintage book page even, so that's even better, right? So see if we can find, I know what pieces of lace I would like, or the style of lace I would like. I just don't know if I have. Yeah. I don't know if I want to use that one, though. Let me see. Let's see if I have any leftover pieces of something. Too white. I want it to be creamier. I'm looking through my little scrap box here. I was looking for some of my needle lace, but I don't see any. I wanted a piece. I don't think I have any left. I think I used it all. Scrap-wise, I'll have to cut a new piece, which I can do. Mm -mm. Oh, maybe I could just use a piece of this. This is vintage. Okay, let's cut that right there. Oh, this is needle lace. I could use that. I was looking for the beige piece, but I didn't see it. I know I have a bunch. Of course, as soon as I'm done here, I'll find it everywhere, right? Okay, so let's put this up here. We'll get this on here. Oh, but now you can't see the writing. Maybe I could put that on that and put that over there. And we'll put that up there and we will put vintage girl up there right there that should get everybody i'm hoping there we are and we'll just put a cute little paper clip at the top and call it a day Okay, you guys, I hope you like these. I hope you made them with me. Um, if you don't have any of this, go get yourself some from the shop, any of these little uh, envelopes. Go get them from the shop and then, you know, replay my video and we can do it together on video. Good thing about this is it's not live, so we have a chance to craft. Whoa, we have a chance to craft together anytime we want, right? I'm gonna clean up some of this mess. Sorry, guys, what a mess I made. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a mess. Oh. Clutzo strikes again. All right. So, just from these darling little coin envelopes and there's all different kinds out there and we carry quite a few of them but there's other ones out there too if you'd rather have a different style of course you don't have to shop in our shop it's just there for your convenience so you can make what i'm making right along with me and then it's still open so you can use it however you want you could turn it around and do it differently you don't have to do what i do let's see if i can get that on there oh look at these aren't they cute wow that on there really badly there we go aren't those adorable look at all the different kinds we made today aren't they sweet oh there you have it i know i'm gonna make some more because i'm hooked i'm hooked i think i i did all my envelopes that i that i stamped so i'm really excited i know i'm gonna be making more and i hope you will too i hope you had fun crafting with me today and you guys have a wonderful weekend and a fabulous Friday and I will see you all again very soon. Hugs and kisses you guys. Bye-bye.